Jesus. How long y'all I need to know myself before I get started. My neck is really hurting me still. Last night I um took some stuff to get it better. All right, y'all ready for this morning? Good morning, Sharika. Uh oh, let's fix this little piece of half of y'all know me. This gonna aggravate my nerves. Um all right. It's gonna be some healing take place. Um, off of this video. Good morning to me. All right, listen. So if you watched the show last night, then you saw us talking about um, being free, right? So um, this morning, I had an early conversation with my friend, Dewan. And so um, we were recapping and talking about different things. And she said something that stirred up something on the inside of me. And I said, you know what I had to do, Dewan? I had the first face the ugly side of me um and when i began to face the ugly side of me then i actually started my process the real process of becoming free um of becoming free because i started um looking at what my issues were so i'm going to give you this morning a situation that i um the confession is good for the soul bless the lord I'm going to give you a situation this morning uh, to help some of you that left off that show and you was like, okay, I hear what they're saying, but I ain't really sure of how to begin or where to start. Uh, this morning, Princess can help you with that part. Let me tell you what I did. Um, I've had two different sides in my life of when it comes to dealing with people. I don't quite recall anybody being in the middle of those sides other than my mama, you know, my family, my, my immediate family. But I used to have people who um, I had done something to to hurt them. And then I had some people who I had done nothing to, but they were mean to me. Good morning, Shannon. Miss you. Um, there were some people, okay, that I had been mean to. So um, this morning when we were talking, I said, um, Dewan, I remember a time when I was real nasty with this lady. Okay. Good morning, April. Uh, I was real nasty with the lady. I was prejudiced because I called the lady a black something. Um, and I said, Princess, what made you act like that? And so this was when we left to go on that island and I confided in that person, you know, and I thought since, um, my husband and her husband worked together. Come on now. Um, that me and her was supposed to be battle buddies. I found out that she actually thought she was better than me. And so um, she would belittle things that I could do. And so I found that that was a real ugly, ugly, ugly side of me. Uh, the one I just mentioned you. Um, there was an ugly side of me. Um, because I, had, I was tired of being mistreated. I was tired of being talked about i was tired of being people friends and they switch up on me i was tired of all of that i was tired of people grinning in my face acting like they were for me when the whole entire time they could care nothing for me so i had gotten sick of that right there so what i said was okay she gonna get she gonna get the real real princess that right there it's something that disturbed my peace a little bit later. When I opened up my mouth that day and said she's going to get the real princess. So you telling me that the real princess is nasty, mean. Is that what you're saying? She came to the door. I got to tell y'all this part so y'all will get where I'm going. She came to the door after I found out that she had been gossiping about something that I shared with her. When she got to that door, let me tell you about this little girl right here. This one, this one right here. Uh, I opened up the door, and when I opened up the door, I was like, what? So she was like, hey, I just came to see if you want to go walk. I said, walk. Me and you walk? Why, why would me and you go walking? Why would me and you go walking? So she was like, well, because we usually go walking or whatever. I said, yeah, but that was before you up here talking about me. That was before you going all around the little island. We was on a two and a half mile long island. Okay. We was on that. Thank you, Shannon. Um, we was on a two and a half mile island. So I was like, that was before you started thinking you could tell. I thought you was my battle buddy. I thought that when I confided in you about something, that you had enough inside of you to uh, keep that little secret. But I see now, honey. 
And so she was like, what are you talking about? I said, see, now, now that made me mad. I don't know about y'all. I don't know about y'all, but that made me mad when people act like they don't know what I'm talking about. You come out better with me if you go ahead and admit what, what it is that you know you did. you like, I ain't making up nothing. This little lady who don't really know us would not have known to tell me my business if you hadn't told her. So that made me real mad right there. So I said, let me tell you something, little black. Such and such and such and such. You take your little nasty blah, 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 all back on around that corner. And if you see me, don't speak. If you, I'm talking about, I was going in. I was going in. My husband had been, went out of town. Okay. My husband and her husband had gone out of town. So when my husband called uh, me, I said, let me tell you something about your little stinking friend such and such call and did such and such such like y'all I, <laughs> I sat in that house because Reggie had about three or four days before they would come back I, I had very few friends again because of the position that Reggie held on the island it was a high position him and that guy was um <laughs> come on now <laughs> Uh, him and that uh, guy that he was working with, they, you know, so we didn't have a lot of people to talk to. So again, but the Holy Ghost reminded me of the time before that when I had been done that way and I hadn't said anything about anybody. Okay. I ha I promise you, if you, I'm the type of person that if you um, tell me some of your business, I'm not going out here to tell your business to people. And if it's something that you don't tell me to keep a secret, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, well, you you do you mind me sharing that, uh, or can I use that for the truth of your search? Or I have had friends who I said, you know, this is gonna be on the truth of your search, all right? You you do know that, right? So they know. Um, but I said to Dewan this morning, I said I realized that I became free when I started acknowledging and facing the real deal about princes. Princess, you didn't act like that when people had done that to you, that you had done nothing to. That's when you should have been defending yourself. You ain't have to act like that. But that's when you should have been doing something. That's what I thought. The Holy Ghost helped Princess in that time to realize that this is what's really in you. That's how come it come out so fast. That's how come that, that, that girl that can pray and use that anointed um, side, that's how come that girl right there flipped real fast because there's some ugly things on the inside of you. Cause first of all, I ain't had no business calling that lady black. You know what I'm saying? Like that. <laughs> I ain't had no business. I'm black. <laughs> like, we two different shades of black. But I ain't had no business with all that. And then we had functions after that where I had to go to her house. When I tell you that because that lady belittled me and because that lady put my business out there, I had a nasty attitude when I went over to her house. Shannon, good. Did I tell you I miss you? Okay. I went over to her house, honey. She didn't want me to cook nothing or whatever. I didn't. I got real cute. I went on over to her house. Look, went on up in her house. And I was like, hey, y'all, how y'all doing? And they were like, Princess, the ladies are in the kitchen. I'm not going in the kitchen. I don't supposed to be in the kitchen. I'm too lit to be in the kitchen. If she really wanted somebody, look, she got it. She got it. That's how it was. She got it. My husband said, uh, Princess, we got elite people here. See, the enemy will have you acting dumb and forgetting that you still have, you have to represent Christ. The enemy will have you all out, and I can't say out of character because it's a part of you. See, that's why we're doing truth is hurt. I can't say it's out of character because it's coming out because it's a part of you. Like Shannon just said, your first response is who you really are. That right there is the whole message. Okay? Thank you, Sharika and the woman. That nastiness that came out first, that's, that's, that's the princess. Let me give her a piece of my mind. Let me make sure she understands something. Neck twisting or whatever. I am now put in a position to where on this island, I was considered. Let me tell y'all the truth. I was considered to be someone with elite uh, status 
with a uh, high power. My husband's picture was when you come off the airplane, like the president and the vice president. My husband's picture was hanging. There were people on another island that would bring the paper to us for us to see because they were so excited to know us and to be able to eat with us. God had set us up to where there was... um favor on our life and here I am all out of character all ghetto and ratchet we talked about that already and so I said princess ma'am the first lady of the Marshall Islands was at this particular event and here I am making sure don't you sit over here mm -mm. D don't they said that we had to have assigned seats and so let me tell you what I did the, the assigned seats would be her husband, her, my husband, me. I said, thank the Lord. But when they got up, when my husband and her husband got up, we were supposed to link up with one another. I ain't linking up with her. I ain't standing by her. I ain't sitting by her. The Holy Spirit spoke to me and said not too long ago, there was a lady that had mistreated you. You didn't like how that felt. Yeah, you know, uh, you might not have done anything. You might not feel like you did anything to that particular lady, but you wasn't mean like this to her. She came at you in a foul way. She she said some ugly things to you. But what did you do then? You did, went somewhere and cried. And I said, oh, but Holy Ghost, the reason why I went somewhere and cried, because I was the one that had been damaged. I was the one that had been hurt. And you know what the Holy Ghost spoke to me? It's a lot of people out here hurting folks. Your behavior gonna change each time. Glory to God, that right now. You you gonna you gonna be switching up every time. <laughs> like you ain't gonna be able to just stay on the Lord's side. You gonna keep going back and forth across the fence. <laughs> like what, what you doing, ma'am? You gonna be praying for somebody one minute and acting a fool the next? That's what you're saying. You're going to be out here prophesying and, 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 and uh, loving on a certain group of people and in the same room and in the same area, you're going to be cutting the food. Is that what you're saying? So you, you're going to let your witness be tampered with. You're going, to, you're going to let all that's been put on the inside of you. You're going to come all the way. And I can't, I can't say it's out of character because it is you. It's you. I can't say that you're acting out of character. The Lord has placed us in places, in rooms, and, and I don't care what, what you think about your life. You might feel like it's something little, something small, and I don't have to watch my behavior. Yes, you do have to watch your behavior. Yes, you do have to act right. Yes, you do have to talk right. Yes, you do have to represent. Yes, you do. Because guess what? The Lord will place you in rooms. I have been so kind and nice. I'm telling y'all, since I have become free. To, to people who have mistreated me. You will be so surprised. This morning I was talking to Dewan about something. She said, what? She said, what? You couldn't even tell. Because I'm free. I'm, I'm really free. That don't mean I don't get angry. That means I don't act no fool no more. That's what that means. And I don't have time. Because I understand now who I am in Christ. I understand now who I am, honey. You can't get me all bent out of shape like that no more. There are times when I want to say something, honey. I don't say anything because let me tell you something. When I understand my status in Christ, there's something that God can do that man cannot do. And that is go into the hearts of other men and women that have mistreated you and done you wrong. You ain't got to keep on fighting. You ain't got to keep going around here losing your mind. You ain't got to go around here twisting your neck all the time. I said, Lord, if... I'm glad you didn't let whatever is going on with my neck happen to me. Ooh, because this is one of the most aggravating feelings in my neck. I don't know what this is. I've asked the Holy Ghost. I, I'm going to put some more oil on it while I'm talking about it. I've asked the Holy Ghost. I need help from on high. Okay? I need, I need help from on high. Thank God for those of you that are praying. Um, But I, I need relief. I'm talking about I need relief. It, it's, it's the most aggravating feeling. But I said, Lord, like, look, I said, Lord, I feel like Paul. I feel like this thing. I got a thorn in my side. I got something going on. And this morning, when I tell y'all that that message last night woke up something in me, princess, this is what the Holy Ghost said, princess, don't just tell the people to just get free. Tell the people to look at, figure out who they are. See the ugly stuff in you. Address that first. Address that part first. You ever want to be free? <laughs> Look at that first. 
Look at that first. I think I saw Tasha on here. Tasha, I sent you an email. I responded late, but please forgive me. Please go check your email. But I'm telling y'all this morning, y'all going to be great or whatever, but don't be no nasty um, you with your cute self. Nasty, on you know, uh, on the inside <coughs> and real cute on the outside. Okay, we ain't going to do that mm -mm. because you can't walk in freedom that way. Mm -hmm. You can't walk in freedom that way. You cannot walk, I'm telling you, you cannot walk in freedom that way. I had to, I asked the Lord to let me run back into that lady so I can apologize to her because I actually left that island with nasty attitude. We stayed on that island for a year and, uh, I'm no, two years. I'm uh, close, very close to two years. And, um, we probably fell out like at the six month point and God was moving in my life. I had a book. I became an author over there, over here, uh, over on the island acting the fool. I started doing things and distancing myself. And even though the Lord was using me, using me, I was, um, my brother and I was talking about the island and how I you did the moving night for the people. And I did the wash day for the people. God was still using me and speaking to me. And I'm up here acting nasty with this lady. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about for real. Nasty with the lady. They, they, the president of um, the island said that they wanted to eat dinner or something, lunch with us. And I said, oh, mm -mm, mm -mm, I ain't going. I'm not going. I'm not. Um, they said when I got ready to leave that because I had made such a powerful impact on that island that they had made me things. I, I want to show y'all something. They had made me a Jackie O. Kennedy, I mean, uh, Jackie Kennedy purse that they had given to her when she was on. I'm going to show it to you right quick. Y'all hang tight. I'll be right back. It's gonna, it ain't going to take long. I'm going to help somebody this morning. Okay, y'all, I ain't take that. I want y'all to see something. Um, these ladies, out of the kindness of their heart, um, this is the island I was on. I won't even use the purse, y'all, because it's just, they made me. This this is the stuff. I'm over there doing the Lord's work, and, and because they some of them don't have a lot of money, so what they do is they make you stuff, and they make you dresses, and they make you all of that, right? And so when I left, let me show y'all. It's the reason why I went and got this stuff. When I left, there's four purses, right? When I left, they did that like uh, uh, um, um, going away thing for me. And they danced and they put these legs across my neck and they put these things all on my head. And let me tell you what I did, y'all, the whole time. This purse is telling on myself this morning. I was throwing it in her face. Oh, all of this. Y'all got me all of this. Oh, we y'all so sweet. All of this. All of this is for me. This is how I was acting. All of it. I'm talking about, look, I said, but she, did y'all make her one? Did y'all give her, did anybody, oh, did you get one? That's how I was acting. Mm -hmm. That's how I was acting. I'm just telling y'all. They made me things for the house. They made me things out of love because of the stuff that God had placed on my heart to do. And this is how they, you know, repaid us. Okay. And Princess was at the function because they had called all the ladies into the function. And Princess sat in her chair and they just kept crying in my head. And I wish I had one of those things to show y'all. But they just kept putting the things on my head. And honey, guess what I kept doing? <laughs> oh yes, honey. Oh yes. Oh yes. Y'all are so sweet. Woohoo. That's how I was acting. And then I got several of these, right? So I was like, oh my goodness. Y'all did not have to do that. <laughs> you did not have to do that. Oh, so guess what? I even called back y'all after I left. My friend Doris. I'm telling on myself this morning. My friend Doris, who had helped me with some of these things. I said, did they give such and such a going away? She was like, yeah, but it wasn't the same as yours. I was like, cause that's what she get. That's what she did. She, that's cause that's how she treat folks. That's how she act. She got what she deserved. The Holy Spirit said, 
Did you miss a point? Because I don't know how the Holy Spirit did with y'all, but I don't get all the sugar coating and stuff. You missed a point there, ma'am. You missed a point, like Shannon, Shannon said, about the mess. And then, look, Tasha said, but you had to come to yourself. That's what I'm talking about, conviction. And that's why I'm on here today. Don't let somebody keep you from being uh, free. Don't let that somebody be you. Do not keep on holding and harboring stuff. I did not treat, I, I promise y'all, I wish I could give y'all a scenario that won't um, damage a person. But I promise y'all, I got mistreated by somebody. And all I did then was go over there and, and, and cry and try to figure out what I did to the person. And then turn around and was nice to that person, was kind to that person, was trying to help that person. And guess what the Holy Spirit spoke to me? Because you want validation from that person. You want that person to like you. That's why you're doing something totally different. The same kindness that you used over there for the person who did not deserve it. Mm -hmm. You done sat up here and used it. This nasty, look, that same attitude, excuse me, that same kindness that you use, I want to make sure I say it right, the same kindness you use for that person over there that had mistreated you and done you wrong or whatever was the same behavior you should have had for this lady over here that you had felt like something was done. So now you out of line. And so then something happened where this particular lady needed prayer for one of her children. Do y'all know my little file behind thought that I had uh, some kind of level of anointing where I could play around with it. Y'all, I'm telling this mm -hmm. little behind, mm -hmm. when I tell y'all I learned, I learned a lesson, okay? Do you hear what I'm saying? I learned a very powerful lesson. This little, that lady that I was mean to had a situation where she needed prayer. And I, with my high-minded, high-thinking self, thought that my prayer was, um, worth something how about that and it is but it's the way i did it it's the way i did it oh she need me to pray you got to be careful and that's all i want to tell you today for you to go on about your your entire you got to be careful you got to be careful because for me to have the audacity to think that the anointing that is inside of me can be played with and tampered with that way. I had to go, and I promise y'all, I didn't see the lady. I ran into her husband. I asked God to fix it to where I could go and say I'm sorry and apologize for it. This is how you become free. This is how you live a life that where you can enjoy yourself. Those that you have done wrong, if you can't find them, okay, if you can't find them, you're going to have to clear that stuff up and move on. It's not about what the person did to me. It's about my freedom. It's about my freedom. It's about my choices. It's about me fixing stuff and getting stuff right for me so that I can be free and be free indeed. Shannon said we have the keys to our freedom. Y'all, my neck hurts so bad. Tasha, conviction, yes. All of that. I, I had to go to God and ask, but before I went to God, the scripture told me that I had to make it right with that lady. And she is in the same town or same city where I live. And so I sent her an email. She responded back, thank you or something like that. I don't, she, she, she don't want to be my friend. And I'm glad about that because um, that way I can just go ahead and move on. You see what I'm saying? Y'all see what I'm saying? I, 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 wanted, I just wanted to get things straight. But because of my behavior, whatever, I didn't expect that lady to want us to go back to being buddies. Even though, again, she did something really bad to me. Really bad to me. I'm free. I'm free. So today, if you want to experience anything, uh, if you haven't already, um, fix some stuff. Fix some stuff. You're not going to get an apology from everybody that has ever done anything to you. You're not going to uh, be able to uh, find everybody. You're not going to be able to have conversations because some people going to have amnesia about it. Okay? Just so you know. But get stuff right. Because now when I'm done that way, you're going to see the glory of God manifested versus princes. Okay? I have literally accomplished some things by being who God called me to be.
for people who don't even really deserve that side of me. But again, I don't deserve some of the things that God has given me. So he still gave it and he still gives it. So y'all have a blessed day. I faced the ugly side of me. Um, last night I realized that Princess, whom the sun has set free, is truly free indeed, girl. Like I was having a graduation party, okay? I had a graduation party um, because I realized that I started this walk for freedom in 2015, 2014-15, and I'm actually proud of myself. I'm celebrating, okay, celebrating life, celebrating my freedom, celebrating being who I am, celebrating that type. Of, I'm telling you, I'm so glad I'm not who I used to be. I'm so glad I don't look like what I've been through. So glad that I don't act like I used to behave. So glad. Because now, when people say, Princess, can you pray for me? That they, they trust my prayer. Okay? That's it, April. Two wrongs don't make a right. Y'all hear me? Thank you, Ireland. So y'all have a blessed rest of the day. Go on ahead and look at the ugly side of you. Don't, 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 don't be that kind of person that look at everybody else ugly and don't see your own. Okay? Start with you. Stay with you. Okay? Love y'all. Be blessed.